hope you guys are ready. So here we go. Don't push, push me any further to the edge, to the edge. Just come, come into the wildlands of my to do in the kitchen i did some groceries yesterday huge grocery guys but also we're going to be doing some organizing the boxes are huge we have to try to fit all this stuff in this little tiny i guess i can say it's my pantry which is like so small try to fit everything in there and get it organized have that to do also, we start with some organizing in the closets. We are gonna start with one closet today. It is a hot mess. There is, do you call it? It's like a shelf, but it's like a foldable shelf. It's in the baby's room. So that needs to get definitely fixed up. So we are going to do that. Let's just get started. We are gonna get started. You guys are ready. So here we go. All right, so let's begin. We are starting off with these groceries I did the other day. It's a lot, guys. It's just a lot. I was a little worried that all this stuff was not going to fit. As you can see, my kitchen is not that big. And my pantry space is not that spacious so we are going to get this stuff put away i'm gonna just take a bunch of this stuff out of the refrigerator that just isn't good anymore and start putting stuff in the fridge and then we're gonna move on to the little pantry i have and also like the top cabinets i'm gonna be putting some stuff and organizing it so here we go let's get it done goodness guys guys these groceries any groceries are it's just so expensive so expensive i spent over 300 dollars, but i will say that i did bulk up on a lot of stuff so it could last a lot longer so this stuff should last like the box stuff i would think at least a month or maybe probably le a little less than a month just because we're a family of six and so I'm hoping I, in a way, saved just because I shouldn't be doing another big grocery until next month. But yeah, it's just, stuff is just ridiculous nowadays. But I'm just continuing to put all this stuff away. You'll be my anchor while I'm the sea. I showed you guys a little bit of what I had gotten. And now we're moving into my top cabinet. Organizing it, just trying to make it look a little more you know, a little more, just better. I'm a fool in love, fool in love. I would never tell, would never fall apart. I drove my mad heart insane. Now all I do is fly and all I see is stars. Riding that shotgun wasted. You got me good. Voila, guys. So, yes first cabinet done we got all that stuff put away and it looks nice and organized so now we're going on the bottom we're gonna do this one as well just get everything in there and organized I'm a fool in love, fool in love. I'm way way better guys definitely better so now this this is what i call my little pantry guys my little pantry but we gonna make it work i'm gonna show you right now how i put everything in there 
it was almost pretty pretty tight it was a pretty tight squeeze but I got it to work out now if you have a small home you have a small kitchen small pantry or you don't have a pantry at all it is pretty pretty helpful to have things organized and to use bins or baskets for things because i feel like it just makes it fit a lot better than just using the big bulky boxes so you're gonna see it definitely helped a lot a lot a lot taking everything out the box and just putting them in containers and in this big basket i had and it just makes everything fit well and you guys seen how much stuff i bought more sense of buying a bigger bulk of stuff so it could last longer if you have a bigger family but my issue is is that i don't have space to be putting this stuff in so i have to just work it use bins and just try to see how i can work it but as you can see with all the stuff i bought it made everything look a lot smaller and it really doesn't look as much <laughs> like I didn't even buy as much. Now I did keep some stuff in the boxes just because I didn't have enough bins. But honestly, I think I had the perfect amount for the stuff I had. Whispering soft to learn signs, wrapping you around my finger. Gently touch, full of spell, blinding you into another, sneaking around, hunting. Now we're moving upstairs guys. We're gonna start off with this closet. It is just a lot. So for this video, I'm gonna be kitting all these clothes out of this organizer and fix it all up because it is a hot mess, honey. So we gonna get this done and I know you guys have closets y'all need to get to and organize. So let's get it done. So I did end up getting a lot of clothes out of there that they either didn't fit or the clothes were just very worn. So I definitely took them out and organized the good clothes and just put away the ones that weren't so good. Staying organized, guys, I will tell you, like, it does help a lot, especially if you have very, very small spaces, it's more likely to feel a lot more cramped and it just feels a lot more cluttered so keeping it organized and just keeping it very minimal helps a lot i'm a lonely hard hard feeling Now I'm just going to go in and put everything back, making sure it stays pretty good and organized. And we're going to see how long this lasts because <laughs> it'll last for probably like a week or two. It'll stay nice or organized and then it'll just be back to chaos as everything else. We try to keep up with it though. We try to do our best keeping up with it and keeping it together. I'm a lonely heart, heart feet line I take what's mine then I leave behind I'm a lonely heart, heart feet line Bam! So now we got it nice and just looking way better than before So these are the clothes that just wasn't, we, we not having it no more So we, I'm gonna put it away, put it in this bag But keep it here because we are not finished with it yet. So we are done guys. We are finally there. We have other closets we need to get to as well. That will be in the next video. Don't miss it. Also guys, with the decluttering in the class, we're gonna be doing some cleaning as well. I have another product I'm gonna be using that I'm gonna be trying out. It's gonna be cleaning the walls. We're gonna be scrubbing these walls guys. We're gonna be going around cleaning the walls so i hope you guys are ready for that as well i'm so excited also if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel and also like this video thank you for watching thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next one bye
door Who would have thought it could feel like 